In this video, I'm going to be comparing the FlightScope Mevo launch monitor to the ES14 and also the ES12 and talking about which one is going to be best. So what we're going to be covering in this video are what the Ernest ES12 does, the Ernest ES14 added features, the Mevo added features, which one's going to be best for you and also the best place to pick them up. So I will just mention our gear giveaway. If you want to enter in, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel like this video, comment giveaway down below, do those three things and you'll be automatically entered. Okay, so let's start with the Ernest ES12. So this is a portable launch monitor that's going to give you ball speed and also distance data and it is currently priced at around $200. When you take a shot, it's going to combine the ball speed and also the trajectory of the shot and it's going to calculate the carry distance. So basically you're going to connect the device to the app and then it's going to give you feedback on each shot that's going to record all of your averages for each club. Um, you can also see the ball flight on it as well, which is pretty cool. So who is the ES12 for? In our opinion, it's probably not worth picking up one of these um, the devices that are under $200. We just didn't really find that they're accurate enough and consistent enough to recommend. If you are a bit tighter on a budget, we would highly recommend to wait and save up if you really want one of these. The ES12 wasn't always consistent and it oftentimes had a tough time connecting through Bluetooth. Um, so this one isn't something we'd recommend. Um, let's jump over to the ES14. So this is a more advanced launch monitor that's currently priced at around $500, so it is quite a bit more. It's pretty much the same thing as the ES12, but it does come with a few more advanced features. The difference between the two is that the ES14 is gonna tell you your club speed, um, your ball speed, the launch angle, the smash factor, the spin rate, and also the distance. So who is the ES14 going to be for? So in our opinion, the ES14 is a fairly decent launch monitor, um, but we do actually prefer the flight scope Mevo over it. The ES14 was more accurate and consistent than the 12, um, but the app wasn't up to par with the others. It worked pretty well at the driving range, um, kind of what it's recommended for, not so much at home hitting it into the net, um, but if you want to store your data to look at, um, this probably isn't going to be the one for you just because the app wasn't quite as good as others. So let's jump over to the FlightScope Mevo and this is a pretty similar device to the ES12 and the 14 and it's currently priced at around $500. The first difference between them it was that the Mevo worked a lot better at home when you are hitting into a net. Obviously it's recommended that you go to a range just because it's better seeing kind of the ball flight but if you don't you know if, if you want something for home um, this is definitely a better option. The second difference was that the Mevo actually records your swing, so you can look at it in real time. Um, so basically, it's going to send um, you know, a, vid a video recording of your swing to the app, so you can pretty much see like you know wh whether your swing planes um, you know, on, on plane and all that kind of stuff, so that's definitely one of the cooler features to it. The third is gonna track spin, apex height, and also flight time, and those are some kind of useful information as well. So who is the Mevo going to be for? So in our opinion, the Mevo is one of the better options in this price range, and that's why I would definitely recommend it. It's not going to be as accurate as like the Track Mints or the SkyTrack, but it is fairly good and a fraction of the price. If you're someone who doesn't yet have their swing dialed in, this is gonna be a great thing for you because it records your swing, and you can kind of work on it and fix it in real time, which is really, really useful. And it's a lot easier than using like your phone or a camera to record. So let's just talk about the pros and cons of these devices. So pros, having a rough idea on how far you hit each club can really help you with distance control and lower scores. Seeing the number creates a challenge and makes practice a lot more fun. Because if you are just hitting, you know, ball after ball and you don't really have anything, you know, tracking it or giving you numbers, it kind of gets boring after all. So, you know, giving the numbers to work on, you know, trying to beat it, you know, getting, um, you know, more distance gives you more of a challenge makes it more fun, you're gonna practice more, and it's gonna result in lower scores. Cons, they're pretty expensive devices that aren't for everyone. They aren't 100% accurate, but they are fairly good. And then most people aren't going to know what some of the stats mean. So most, most people aren't going to know what like, you know, smash factor or dynamic loft is, um, you know, what's good, what's bad, that kind of thing. Some people will, but most people won't know what all the information means. But frequently asked questions, how accurate are these in terms of distance? 
So they were usually within about five yards. So sometimes they were like five yards less. Sometimes they were, you know, spot on. Sometimes they were five yards more. Um, so kind of plus or minus five yards. Will they work at home with a net? They will, but it's always best to see the ball flight at the range. And then does the app work on Apple and Android? Um, yes, it does. So are these devices worth it? Taking into account all the pros, all the cons. Overall, if you plan on using them often, and you do have the spare cash laying around, these could definitely be for you. They aren't the most accurate, uh, but it's generally pretty close and it does make practice a lot more fun. If you are tighter on a budget, we would recommend you wait and save up for something. Um, if you do have a bit more to spend, we definitely recommend the Flight School Mevo. It's probably one of our favorites in this current price range. But if you would like to see more images or reviews of any of the mentioned products, or you want to get any of them for the lowest price available, click the link in the description down below. At the time of the video, that was the best place I could find it, so you can go ahead and check out the current price if you want. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And that's going to be it for the video, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.